10 movies to watch on Prime Movies before they expire. If you're looking for something good to watch, then here are 10 movies that are expiring soon on Prime Movies UK. These are movies I have watched and enjoyed multiple times, but I would love to hear your thoughts about them down in the comments below. Now in no particular order, here are 10 movies to watch on Prime Movies before they expire. One is Survivor. Came out in 2015, it's an action crime thriller starring Milo Djokovic, Pierce Brosnan and Dylan McDermott. It got rated 5.6 over on Internet Movie Database. It's about a foreign service officer in London who tries to prevent a terrorist attack set to hit New York City, but is forced to go on the run when she is framed for crime she did not commit. But did you know, yeah, a bit of goose, at the end of the circus scene, there's an audible comment, good shot. Did you know that? I watched this the other day and I didn't hear that. Next we have... John Wick 3, which came out in 2019. This is an action crime thriller. Got rated 7.4 on Internet Movie Database, starring Keanu Reeves, Halle Berry, Ian McShane and Lawrence Fishburne. It's about John Wick, yeah, who's on the run after killing a member of the International Assassin's Guide with $14 million price tag on his head. He's the target of a hitmen and women everywhere. Surely you must have seen it. But did you know, a bit of trivia, Keanu Reeves began training for this film four months before filming. He says there are so many different kinds of action sequences, not only more styles of martial arts and more gunplay, but also motorcar motorcycles, horses and dogs. So the training was intense, but honestly I love it. I love this character and I love the John Wick universe we've created. Bit of goose though, that's the one minute, uh, one hour 53 minute when Wick pushes the katana through Zero's chest, it never goes all the way through since there is a hard glass floor under him. Yet, when Zero sits up, the katana goes through his chest and came out the back. Did you know that, guys? I didn't. Then we have Hunter Killer, which came out in 2018. It's an action thriller starring Gerard Butler and Gary Oldman. Got 6.6 .6 on Internet Movie Database. I actually watched this the other day, too. It's about an untested American submarine captain who teams with US Navy SEALs to rescue the Russian president who has been kidnapped by a rogue general. Did you know though, a bit of trivia, one of Michael Nukvist's late last film before his death in 2017. And if I said his name wrong, I'm, I apologise. Bit of goose for you. Hiding underwater can stop bullets from hitting you. All supersonic bullets, up to 50 calibre, slow dramatically or stop or disintegrate in less than 3 feet, which is 90 centimetres, of water, but slower velocity bullets, like pistol rounds, need up to 8 feet, 2.4 metres, of water to slow the non-lethal speed. That was on Myth, Myth, Mythbusters, episode 34, if you're interested in that. Next, we have The Hitman's Bodyguard, which came out in 2017. It's an action comedy crime thriller, starring Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson and Gary Oldman again. Got rated 6.9 on Internet Movie Database. Um, it's one of the world's top bodyguards gets a new client, a world-class hitman who must testify at the International Criminal Court. They must put their differences aside and work together to make it the trial to make it to the trial alive on time. Did you know though? The song that um, Kincaid and the nuns are singing together in the van, much too. Bryce's annoyance is a 19th century Italian traditional drinking song named Bevio Tutto, which encourages everyone to drink it all up. Bit of goose though, when Professor Asimov testified at the trial that Dukovic killed his wife and child, Dukovic attorney objected that this that it, it was hearsay and the court granted the objection and excluded the testimony. The testimony was not hearsay, hearsay is testifying about that about what someone else said happened. Asimov was testifying about events that he directly witnessed and the testimony should have been allowed. It's only a movie, guys. Don't take it too serious. Then we have American Assassin, which came out in 2017, an action thriller starring Dylan O'Brien, Michael Keaton and um, Sana Lafon. I actually watched this again the other day. I really love this movie. It's... About after the death of his girlfriend at the hands of terrorists, Mitch Rapp is drawn into the world of counter-terrorism mentored by tough as nails former US Navy SEAL Stan Hurley, who is played by Michael Keaton. 
Bit of trivia though, did you know that Michael Keaton was initially, initially apprehensive about playing Stan Hurley, who is portrayed as a somewhat crazy former CIA operative? Keaton did not like the idea originally, due to Keaton's well-known liberal views. However, after reading Vince Flynn's novel American Assassin, Keaton felt that he could connect with him and channel the character of Hurley. Bit of goose though, after entering the bathroom, Annika starts filling the tub. When Mitch throws her in the tub, a minute has passed at most and the bath is completely filled with water. Again guys, only a movie. Next we have another one of my favourites, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, which came out in 2016. It's an action drama history thriller war movie starring John Krasinski, Pablo Schreiber and James Badge Nail. Got rated 7.3 on the Internet Move Database. It's during an attack on the US compound in Libya as security team struggles to make sense out of all the chaos. Did you know though, a bit of trivia, according to the producer, Erwin Stoff, the diplomatic compound and CIA annex were built using the actual plans. What we did is we had actual plans and satellite images of the original structures and we had the guys, so we built these, we replicated both the annex and the diplomatic mission exactly to the inch. Bit goose as well though. At the morning prayers, the sun rises over the Mediter- Mediterranean Sea. That wouldn't be visible from Benghazi, which faces west. Oh well. Next we have Snake Eyes, which came out in 2021. Action, adventure, crime, fantasy, sci-fi, thriller. Basically everything, guys. It's starring Henry Goulding, Andrew Kogier and Haruka Abd. It's got rated 5.4 Internet Movie Database, which isn't that great, but I enjoyed the movie nonetheless. I love G.I. Joe, and it's a G.I. Joe spin-off centred around the character Snake Eyes, who I absolutely love, because I've got two figures of him. And did you know, though, a bit trivia, it's the last film to feature 2012 MGM Lion. And a bit of goose, Henry Goulding's American accent keeps slipping throughout the movie. This is because the actor, Henry Goulding, is of English and Malaysian descent. He therefore speaks English with a British accent, but his character, Snake Eyes, is Asian American. Then we have another great film, A Law Abiding Citizen, which came out in 2009. Action crime drama thriller, starring Gerard Butler, Jamie Foxx and Leslie Bibb. Got rated 7.4 on the Internet Movie Database. It's about a frustrated man who decides to take justice into his own hands after a plea bargain sets one of his family killers free. Have you seen it, guys? Let us know if any of these movies um, are your favourites. And, um, yeah, comment below. Then, a bit, of, sorry, a bit of trivia about this movie. Director F. Gary Bray decided to use Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse as the restaurant that caters Clyde's lunch after dining there several times during filming. The restaurant was also the location of the film's after party following the screening of the Philadelphia Film Festival. Bear Goose... At the cemetery where the armed robot emits the EMP, it knocks out the convoy's electronics, yet moments later Detective Dunningham's radio can be heard. The blast would also have disabled the radios. But guys, it's just a movie. Don't worry. Then we've got Patriot's Day, 2016, another great movie. It's an action crime drama history thriller. Got rated 7.3 on the internet movie Daybase and starring one of my favourite actors, Mark Wahlberg, Michelle Monaghan, and J.K. Simmons and John Goodman. It's a great movie, guys. The story of the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing and the aftermath, which includes a citywide manhunt to find the terrorists responsible. Did you know, though, a bit of trivia? The military police in the movie are real-life MPs from the Massachusetts National Guard. Some of them had responded in the week following the attack. And a bit of goose, when... Zocco Sonare, sorry, I just butchered that name is pulled out of the boat, he is thrown on the ground from the shot above the seas. Sorry, he's pulled from the ground, yeah? The shot from above sees him falling on straw grass bedding, but the shot from the side show only dirt. That's why the goose guys, we're not bothered over. Number 10, yeah? No Time to Die. It came out in 2021. It's an action f- adventure thriller starring Daniel Craig, Anna Diamas, Rami Malek and Leo Sido. We got rated 7.3 and it was the end of the Bond franchise starring Daniel Craig. It's not the end of Bond, don't worry guys, don't cry. It's about James Bond, yeah, has left the active service. His piece is short-lived when Felix Leiter, Leiter, whatever, an old friend from the CIA, turns up asking for help. 
leading Bond on, onto the trail of a mysterious villain armed with dangerous new technology. Did you know a little bit of trivia? Reportedly, James Bond actor Daniel Craig personally handpicked Cuban actress Anna Diarmas to play Paloma in this Bond movie after working with her on Knives Out 2019, which first released about only four months before No Time to Die was originally meant to release. Bit of goose as well though, Bond uses the mini EMP device in his watch that was given to him by Q and in each instance it disables Proxima touching electrical devices but it doesn't affect the radio transceiver in Bond's ear through which he is communicating with allies. However, Q did imply that the watch did have a limited range. Obviously, it would be designed with a range that would not extend to an earpiece. Oh well guys, that is it for our list of 10 movies to watch on Prime Movies before they expire. Be sure to let us know, out of these, which is your favourite. Are you going to watch them? Have you watched them? Let us know guys down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it and as always guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.